morning everyone we are going to start a very interesting lecture today so that is we are going to discuss about the animated symbology in arcgis pro so it is a very interesting uh, thing which uh, now you will get in arcgis pro so that is uh, you will get some kind of uh, 3d data means uh, means whatever the points you have or whatever the data you have you want to represent in 3d so then definitely you can do that okay as of now you just see here so i have some point of interest of urishas which i have okay uh, so that you see the different different uh, railway stations and then bus stops and then uh, some windmills areas will be there okay so what i did uh, this is a bus stop is uh, what i uh, change this name as suppose wind okay so something i am giving name like this i will change it so that it will be a something meaningful because i don't have the windmill data sets but here uh, so what are the bus stands data sets we will have so i will extract it with this point and i want to show this uh, this points in as a windmill data okay so usually we have uh, suppose uh, this data sets so better uh, i will show you from the start so like here we have some data the points you are already seen here so those are uh, how i am going to select i will tell you from the beginning like uh, i want to extract uh, uh, so many data sets we have here okay are you seen here that so many data sets we have here so i want to take this bus stop data because bus stop data is side by the uh, roads so where the locations of the windmill will be the better okay and near to the coastal area also we have some bus stops so uh, this area basically i am just going to focus so that's why uh, uh, i will going to extract this because this names are point this uh, these all points you seen it is name as a, a different category of the bus stops so i am going to extract that's why uh, all the bus stops okay so we have the maps we can go to the select by attributes we can change the name is equal to bus stop and simply click on apply so see whatever the bus stops will be there so those are selected you just right click okay go to the layer from the selection layer from the selections so make layer from the selected features if you want okay and here you just give uh, all these names uh, like this see this is the, this is selected all the points so i am just going to change this point name okay i give name as a windmill windmill okay so these are the points few points which we have here so if you don't want to concentrate all these points you can i can simply select it okay so that also we can delete okay so that is our main focus over this particular area so if i want to save this layer go to edit and click on save and edit layers okay so suppose this is the near to the coastals so most of our windmills uh, we will see most of the near to the coastal area where there is a winds are very good so i want to convert these points as a windmill points okay so very first things which you have to do you know that you have to convert this 2d maps to the 3d maps so i just go to this okay so here you have the convert tool and you can convert it to the global scene to or local scenes so i'm just going to take it to uh, local scenes because it's a small area so let's see so now uh, once it will convert it i am going to activate the 3d symbols over here which we have as a 2d mill so here if you see we have the windmill here so simply you have to drag this and you have to take it to the windmill okay in the 3d layer okay now it is going to floating layer so here you just need go to down this then you can see these layers are going to floating now okay so what you have to do now you can simply click on this symbology okay so you can go back to the gallery first first take the symbols okay and you just see if you type animated it is already came but still i'm just showing you so if you type animated so different types of animated symbols will come up okay 
So, as of now, uh, this particular points I want to show as a wind mill, wind turbine. Okay, so this is wind turbine. Okay, anyway, you can make it as a change in the wind turbine. So, I'm just simply click on this. So, this is a, in general those points you should see here it is already started rotating. So, better you can go to the property and you can increase the size from here. So, you can able to control all those particular size cells okay style. So, everything you can able to <coughs> control uh, from this tiny. So, these are 4 points will be there. So, you can make it uh, 25 let us see 30 okay. So, that it will be looking better okay. So, 20 30 okay. So, I will make apply this. So, now you see it is very wonderful it is it is really good it is really good okay. So, you can change the depth or change the size of this okay if you want more, but the thing is it is it is a very beautiful thing okay. So, you can do many changes from here okay you can go this is a gallery this is a property okay this is under the property you have various options positions okay output types okay rotations everything you can able to control here okay the positions rotations offsets okay manuals so so these are the things which you can able to control and you just see very nicely so these are selected that's why it looks looking like this so if you deselect it you will definitely get like this so, width then uh, size also you can change depth if you want you can increase the depth ok. So, or <coughs> if you want increase the width also so apply. So, accordingly it will going to reflect over here ok. So, that is that is the beautiful thing over this particular analysis like here you just see in the coastal area and how nicely <coughs> these windmills are placed. <coughs> so, accordingly you can able to see your data. So, this is a very fast demo uh, ok. So, now uh, the next things which we will going trying to uh, do it over here. So, that is basically if you have some live data which you can access from our living atlas platforms ok and that data also you can able to access here ok. So, for that uh, you just need to go in a catalog ok you have to click on our this particular living atlas you can make a category as an environment as I selected as an environment because I want some live data sets which is a wind current weather and wind locations suppose I want. So, that is from the around the world you can access within a second ok. So, this type of data also you can represent here. So, if you click on this add to the current map. So, let us see let us the data will add. So, this is actually a very useful if you want to uh, showcase uh, some kind of uh, uh, current weather conditions. So, because these are live data sets which is get getting from our uh, NOAA satellites ok and some uh, around the world some uh, wind stations data sets which is coming from here directly if you see here this will coming uh, here directly ok. So, what you need to do you just uh, take it this particular layer also here in the 3D layer first ok. So, very first you have to do this thing and uh, the same things like here now wind speed if you double click on this wind speed or you can select this wind speed you can go to feature click on the symbology. So, the symbology patterns will come up here ok. So, here you can go to the uh, format all symbols. So, it will come the symbols pattern you can, uh, the gallery same here you can type animated. So, it is already came here ok. So, now uh, if you just see uh, around the world data ok. So, it will go it will take little bit of time see now it is coming like arrow like this, but once I will uh, select the data ok. So, this will be uh, changes in animated symbols it will take few minutes time and you just see accordingly this symbols is also going to change within a second. Okay, so, this Botas symbols OS bar symbols if you do not want so now I am just going to switch off this because here uh, it will be helpful for you to understand ok. So, now if you see this is a wind speed. So, accordingly this wind speed see these are already animated. So, if I go little bit of uh, zoom out because uh, around the world data. So, you can see wonderful animations around the world the live data sets ok. So, and that is also with the animated symbols you can able to represent your data 
okay so this is i am now around the kolkata so this is the kolkata what is the situation so all the details you will get if you click over this okay so you just see this is the captured timing when this data sets are captured so 21st morning 40:30 am so this is the live data set so that's approved and this is wonderful if you know this is not for the uh, like uh, wind speed so if you want for the temperature so that is also very good is not a lot of temp means uh, weather conditions data sets you will get it here so say one thing is you have to select here and you have to change the field here from now suppose sound is windy i want to change it uh, suppose the temperature yeah temperature okay and uh, the templates which i want to use it here some kind of hotness i want to uh, show over this particular thing so i will change this temple templates from this to hot okay so now uh, you will see accordingly how nicely this will also going to change and that's the beautiful things uh, of the animations okay so you just see very nicely how you can represent like it is just like uh, in our uh, news people are giving uh, updates about the uh, recent uh, wind conditions temperature so now you people also can give your update to your any of your friends if you want okay from this type of live data sets so that's all from my side so i will request everyone please explore the other symbologies also like we have animated symbols for trees and so many other things okay so that also you can convert in 3d within just a click so that's all from my side so one is i showed you about the static kind of data which you want to convert in 3d like wind uh, turbines which we showed you another one is which i showed you from the live data if you want to show that particular data in animations like wind speed and the temperature so that also you can show in a, with your animated symbols so that's all from my side so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share with others and please give your comments thank you thank you very much